What's up, church? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You know, like always, we're just so thankful that you would take time out of your day to spend time with us and to get in to God's Word. And of course, we've been in the book of Mark. And today we're going to be in Mark uh, chapter 7. We're going to be reading verses 5 through 8. So let's get in to the Word. Let's read. It says, So the Pharisees and teachers of religious law asked him, talking about Jesus, Why don't your disciples follow our age-old tradition? They eat without first performing the hand-washing ceremony. Jesus replied, You hypocrites! Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you, for he wrote, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their worship is a farce, for they teach man-made ideas as commands from God. For you ignore God's law and substitute your own tradition. Wow, you know, this exchange, this encounter with Jesus did not go well for the Pharisees. You know, just to give you a little bit of context of what was going on here. The Pharisees, they had taken God's commands, but they had exaggerated them. They had added some of their own ideas to these commands in order to make themselves look more impressive, in order to, to make themselves look more religious. You know, this wasn't about hygiene. This wasn't about the original spirit of the command that God had given. They were trying to make themselves look better than everybody else. And so uh, not only were they doing this, but they were starting to apply uh, this to other people and make them do the same thing. And it was becoming a burden. So, of course, Jesus, this didn't sit well with him. You know, that's the, that's the problem with religion a lot of times is, you know, religion, it can be a barrier instead of a bridge. You know, our goal as believers, our goal as the church is to reach people with the gospel. And so, you know, we don't hold too tightly to our traditions. You know, we hold tightly to the message of the gospel, but we know that over time, our methods are going to change. You know, I grew up in church and I've been going to church all my life, probably well over 30 years, and I remember a lot about the way that we used to do things. You know, the songs that we used to sing. I remember we used to have the microphones with the different little colored foam covers on the head. And we used to do, uh, you know, transparencies. If you guys remember any of that, we We'd have to, if we sing a new song, we'd have to write it out on the transparency. Man, I'm thankful we don't do any of that stuff anymore. I'm glad that we have technology, that we're able to do stuff like this, uh, that we're able to stream church online, all the different things that we're able to do in order to reach people. You know, our methods, they change over time, but the message of the gospel, it never changes. You know, the, the danger with tradition is that tradition Sometimes it can take the heart out of what we're doing and replace it with rules. But Jesus, he says, hey, I'm not about the rules. I'm after your heart. And that's, that, that's where they had it backwards. The Pharisees had this backwards because they were trying to impress everybody with their rules. Jesus said, hey, it's about your heart. You know, it's, it's interesting that in this passage, no one is more qualified to judge others than Jesus but it's the Pharisees that we see making accusations against the disciples. You know, when we allow pride to come into our heart, when we become self-righteous, um, we start to look for the faults and the shortcomings in other people's lives instead of looking to our own lives, our own heart, and see how we can change, how we can be more like Jesus. You know, when we're walking in humility, we understand how much we need God, how much we need His mercy and His forgiveness. And when we understand that, we have a lot more grace for others. Amen. You know, last thing is this. You know, true worship, it comes from the heart. Jesus, He quotes Isaiah in this passage, and He says, These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. You know, I never want God to say that about me, that I'm giving him lip service, but that my heart is not connected to the things that I'm saying, to the songs that I'm singing. You know, our words, they can impress people, but God, he sees right through it, man. He, he sees our hearts. And so, you know, our fancy prayers, they don't impress God. How well we sing doesn't impress God. How many scriptures we know. Those things don't impress God. God sees through all of our motives and he looks straight at our heart. And that's what he's after. He's after our heart. Amen. Just a couple points of application I wanted to leave you guys with today. The first thing is this. You know, let's be people who walk in humility. You know, let's not have a religious spirit. Let's not be quick to judge others. Instead, let's have grace. Let's, let's have an understanding and an awareness of how much we need God in our own lives. And when we do, 
man, we're gonna have a lot more grace for the world around us. Um, second thing, let's be authentic in our worship. You know, I love what Pastor Mike said recently when he was teaching us about the altar of incense. You know, incense, when it's not burning, it's not very effective. Uh, you know, when we come to church and we're checking a box and we're just kind of going through the motions, we're going through the rituals, but our hearts aren't connected, our prayers are cold, it's not very effective. But when our lives are on fire for God, when our hearts are burning for Him, our worship, it's activated. And uh, it, it creates a fragrance and an aroma that rises to God and it's pleasing to Him and it's pleasing to the world around us. And so when it comes to our worship, Let's connect it to our hearts. Let's be a people that give God real, sincere, authentic, genuine worship. Amen. Hey, I'd love to pray for you today as we finish. Let's pray. God, we love you. And I'm just so thankful for your word, God. And I pray, God, that today that we could be people, God, who are humble. God, help us to not be judgmental towards those around us. God, help us to, to understand and look in our own hearts and see how we can be more like you. God, I pray that we would be sincere and genuine and authentic in our worship, God. We know, God, that, that, uh, that it's not about a ritual. It's not about coming to church and checking a box or singing songs just to go through the motions or praying prayers just off the top of our head. God, we want to bring you something that's real, uh, something that's, that's sincere. And so, God, uh, we just thank you for this word today. God, I pray that we would be sincere and authentic worshipers. God, we love you. It's your name we pray. Amen. Amen.